welcome back, welcome back uh, to the yeah uh what <laughs> welcome back guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more vikings reaction today we're gonna be doing season three uh episode four uh, yes <laughs> anyways um <clears throat> good times man last time we got to see one of the um <clears throat> one of the rituals of the vikings of how they bless their food for harvest um it's a bit <laughs> the stuff they do is with blood is crazy <laughs> let's say the least it was a bit creepy let's let's just put it out there like that man it was a bit creepy it was a bit over the top in my opinion when it comes on to you know i mean the whole them throwing the blood on her like that was you know even king egbert was like man what what the hell am I thinking? Like, you know what I mean? Like, at that point, I can understand why you would want to back out of any deal. <laughs> at that point, you're just like, okay, this is this is way too much for us over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we'll see what happened. Um, of course, Quintred got her throne that she wanted. They've killed um, the uncle and the brother is back back there with him <laughs> though ragnar headbutted the shit out of him um but anyways man last episode was good we got um hopefully prune prune just survives for bjorn's sake i want her to survive you know what i'm saying ragnar is pretty pissed at him right now um also what's going on back home at katagat is 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 a issue i don't know what's going on we got boys they're catching boys in nets way out at sea, drowned. You know, um, mother sons that they didn't even they didn't even know they were missing. I don't know what's going on. This dude, this wanderer, that I'm thinking it's Mimir, maybe or I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's a mystery still. You know, got great stories. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wrestling with a grand with a giant grandma. Okay, <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> Okay, but, um, so I think the seer knows what's going on or he knows what's going to happen to him, but he's saying that he's being kept in the dark about what's happening in Kattegat at the moment, like them having, you know, all three of them having the dream, you know, Siggy, Helga, and Oslog having those dreams together about this, this Wanderer dude. So I don't, I don't know what's going to happen down here, but we're going to get to see what happened now that all this stuff is being revealed. They kind of get a little bit of a clip of how the Vikings religion works. So let's see how King Hegbert responds to this. And also, you know, I'm rooting for, for Atlas and, and, um, her, I can't remember her name. I still can't remember her name. If it was, wife a wolves wife that's all i can say i want to see what's going to happen between their relationship because she does have kids with a wolf already so the reason why i'm rooting for their relationship because it seems like something genuine i'm not for arranged marriages i'm always like this right i don't think a woman should ever cheat mind you she's already done that um but we are, if you want to be a fly on the wall in this story, in the aspect of the story where you're living in a, in a period, because us men, if we could be with two, three women at the same time without having no issues, we would do it. But we're living in a, in a monogamous society that doesn't support polygamous um, relationships. So we have to abide by those rules. Most men would love to be in polygamous relationships so where everything is good and the women are not mad at each other and stuff like that in the society in their society it is allowed it's allowed for you to be with more than one woman i don't know about on the christian side of things i don't know i know you know back then kings used to have a wife and 
a lot of concubines. So I don't know in that situation how it would work. You get what I'm saying? But I, I guess it's still adultery. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's, it's still considered adultery because she doesn't really want to do it because she want to honor her marriage, but she's so intense. I don't know. Maybe it's just a sexual thing. Who knows? But I don't think Athelstan want to... I think Athelstan likes her and and she will... And, and he will... You know what I'm saying? Wait. He will wait. Or he doesn't want her to feel like she's sinning with him because he's like, why are you know why do you feel like you need to apologize you don't need to apologize for liking me i didn't like the fact that he kissed her i <laughs> i didn't like the fact that he kissed her but i i do would hope that if 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 Aethelwolf finds out about this he's gonna kill athelstan let's just <laughs> let's just be plain about that like and i wouldn't I wouldn't be mad. I would be mad at the fact that we would have lost Athelstan in the in the in the um in the show, but at the same time, I would be like, he had all right to kill him. The man <laughs> made moves on your wife. I can't be mad at that because if it was me, I would have probably done the same thing. Let's just be honest about it. Like, be keep it one hundred. Like, I don't really like it. Aethelwolf as a character. But if he ends up killing Athelstan because, you know what I'm saying, they end up sleeping together or whatever, or he catches them together, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, why are you killing Athelstan and be mad. I would be mad about losing him as a character, but I would not say Wolf was wrong because he's not out here slanging dick with no woman. I don't see him doing that, so I can't say he cheating too, so he don't have no right. You know what I'm saying? But let's go watch this episode, man, see what this episode is all about. Remember to hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. And I will see you guys for the review. All right. So here we are. Season 3, Episode 4. If you guys are checking out this review right now, thank you guys so much for coming back and checking out the review, man. As always, Vikings is never a dull moment. <laughs> You know, this one was particular, um, you know, Floki still being Floki, super religious man child. <laughs> and, you know, Ragnar is always lurking, always listening to conversations. I want to know who caught Athelstan and, um, girl, oh girl, um, still can't remember her name. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to remember... I want to know who caught them kissing. Somebody caught them kissing. So I want to know who that is. Um, pretty sure they're going to reveal it. looked like somebody that we're familiar with, but obviously didn't say anything. Um, but I knew Quintet was going to kill, his, kill her brother. You know why? Because she trusts what Ragnar says a lot. And that's the reason why I, I was thinking off bat that she was going to kill him. In that moment, that last, I was like, this... I thought she was going to probably pull out a knife and cut his throat or something. I, did, I wasn't even thinking about poisoning the wine or anything. Until I saw him drink and then I didn't see her drink. She started pouring. I was like, yeah, <laughs> he's a goner. But that was a very well done scene. Why I say that is because everybody else in the room, she could have literally killed everybody in the room. And now pretty much... In a way, she kind of put everybody on notice. That's what she practically did. She's like, y'all didn't even know I was up to this. Like, I could have literally poisoned the whole wine, killed everybody in here, and took over all these kingdoms. Because everybody that was in power was there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in power was there. You had, um, I mean, Ragnar, King Egbert, um, King Ale, you had uh, Lagatha. Everybody that was in power was in there, all the up the upper people. So she could have killed everybody in that room and, you know, couldn't give two shits. But in any case, man, um, very good episode. Um, I think the most particular thing that happened in this to talk about was the situation happening back at Kattegat. Now we have uh, um, Aslog. 
sleeping with the wanderer um then siggy dying when i was saying maybe she didn't die because it didn't seem like it was conclusive the whole thing just came off like a dream but it did happen thank god none of the sons were there but she's definitely and the reason why i think she's the mvp of this is because she didn't hesitate when them kids fell in fell in the in the lake she did not hesitate to go after them and to tell you that's a true instinct of, of a mother. You know, I, maybe somebody would have tiptoed and tried to be safe to get over there. She took off running. And then when she realized that she couldn't, she um, they were sank too far already, she, she just dipped. You know what I'm saying? She just went in. You know what I mean? So, never, I'm sorry. She, I didn't want her to die because you guys know how I felt about in the, in like the first season up to like the second season. Like she has really come around to be one of those characters in the show that I, that I like. Um, but I mean, even during last season, I didn't really like her, but at the end she came, she, she really came around and I, and I was like, she's a real savage. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to give her definitely MVP of this episode. It's, it was awesome. Quinn Thread, she, she just don't care. You, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, 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 I love her character because she just doesn't, she don't care. <laughs> she doesn't care. She, she'll go after anybody. She's the true definition of what an, inf, um, an infomaniac is. She's, maybe it's because of her abuse. Uh, you know as a child that she went through um, maybe it's because of that but it, but also even if it is because of that it's just her character now you know what I'm saying she's like listen man I like you <laughs> uh, I'm you know what I'm saying you I'm attracted to you you know what I'm saying you know that kiss nice kiss you know what I'm saying and then you had and then Lagatha just walked away. You know what I'm saying? She just goes after what she wants. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you guys can look it up if you want. But peeing on a wound is something that it works. It doesn't heal the wound. You know what I'm saying? But it can pee can be used to, I don't want to say ca cauterize a, a wound. I don't know exactly what it does. But I know it works. It is something that works. That is... It works. It's not far fetched. It's not impossible. What she, you know, what she did um, to Ragnar. You know what I'm saying? It it still hurts, but it it eases the pain somehow. I don't know why. I don't know what are the properties of pee. So I don't know. I just know that it's something that you can do. You can pee on a cut. You know what I'm saying? On a on a on a wound, and it works. It does something. I don't know, but I know it's something that works. Anyways, um, so yeah, man, this episode was pretty cool, man. I liked it. Uh, um, it, it was excellent to see, you know what I'm saying? The acting has gone up a notch. I didn't like how Perun was coming at Bjorn, though, because I'm like, this dude is, he's dying on the inside right now. Worrying, worry, worry, worry. He's a big Larda warrior right now, and she came at him like that. And I understand where she's coming from also. You know, just looking at it from an objective point of view, but at the same time, it's so typical of women to when they're not feeling well, if you're doing if you're doing something or if you, you know, what I'm saying not necessarily go out. But if you leave them for 10 seconds, they feel like you're cheating. It's so weird. You know what I'm saying? And now she's like making assumptions saying that, oh, you won't want to marry me now and all of this other stuff. And he ain't saying nothing. He ain't saying nothing like that. And in my opinion, I think he should still marry her. That's still the love of his life. Yes, yeah, she got a wound across the face, but that will heal. If she survives this, I don't see why you he wouldn't still marry her. It's not that big a deal. She's still the mother of your child. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't think Bjorn is the type of guy that's, that's going to stop loving her because now she got a big scar on her face. So, um... But it's all good, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's always good to watch this series um, and come back, you know, watch and, and watch this. So thank you guys for tuning in as always. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys for the next one, as always.
Peace.